braided hairstyles that are really simple but really really beautiful. One of them is actually inspired by the show Game of Thrones even though I haven't seen it yet. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> but I always see the hairstyles online from the show and they are absolutely beautiful so I thought I would create like an inspired hairstyle from Game of Thrones. And the other hairstyles are just ones that I found on the internet which I thought were really cool so I am going to show you guys how to do them. If you guys are new and have never seen this face then definitely subscribe to this channel as well as my vlog channel and also if you enjoyed this video then definitely let me know by giving me a thumbs up. So without further ado let's just jump right into the video. For this first hairstyle you want to separate your hair into middle parting and pull out some sections of hair at the front of your face to frame it a little bit better. Then you want to take a chunk of hair at the top of your head and start braiding this into a dutch braid. Once you're done, make sure to secure it with a clear elastic. And if you wish, you can tug on the braid a little bit to add a little bit more volume. Then you want to just repeat the same to the other side and be sure to secure it with a clear elastic. Once you've done that, you want to take the braids to the back of your head and tie them together. I'm now returning back to the front and I'm taking a chunk of hair just above the ear and I'm starting to braid that into a Dutch braid as well. Once you have done that, you want to take those two braids to the back of your head as well and securely tie them in place. Now you want to gather all of your hair and tie it together into a low ponytail. You can now remove the clear elastics that were once there to secure the braids as you no longer need them. And lastly, if you would like to conceal the hair tie, you can take a strand of hair and wrap it around and then pin it in place with a hair grip to secure it. And that is the Game of Thrones inspired hairstyle done. I absolutely love this hairstyle so much. It's such a nice way to spice up a regular ponytail. For this next one, you want to again separate your hair into a middle parting. You want to take a chunk of hair at the top of your head and start braiding this into a Dutch braid. If you would like to see a more detailed Dutch braid tutorial, then I will leave a link down in the description as well as in the corner of this video. Once you have secured the braid, you can go back and stretch this braid out for added extra volume. And now what you want to do is repeat the same thing to the other side. This time make sure to leave a strand of hair at the back of your neck and this is going to serve the hairstyle later on. So as you can see I have this thin piece of hair at the back and I'm going to loop this through each loop of my braid and think of this technique as almost sewing with a piece of thread. We're using this strand of hair to attach the two braids together. This looks quite complicated but it's actually so much easier once you are doing it. Once you reach the bottom, you just want to tie the whole thing together and secure all the hair in place. Add a few hair grips here and there and you are done. I absolutely love this hairstyle so much. It's such a nice way to transform the two regular Dutch braids into something a little bit more edgy. For this last hairstyle, I'm starting off with the same top section and I'm just tying the two braids off at the bottom. Next, what you want to do is take one of the ponytails and just start braiding it with a fishtail braid. To create a fishtail braid, you want to separate the hair into two sections and start taking thin strands from each side and placing it onto the other side to cross them over. Fishtail braiding is actually really easy once you get the hang of it and it looks so effective. I really love how fishtail braids look. So you just want to do that all the way to the bottom and repeat the same thing to the other side. This is quite an easy hairstyle but I feel like the way the two braiding techniques juxtapose each other looks really interesting and again it's just a nice way to switch up the very common double dutch braid hairstyle. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then definitely leave me a thumbs up so I know. And if you have any requests for hairstyles you'd like me to do in the future on my channel, then please let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know which one was your favourite out of these hairstyles. I think my favourite one was the second one. I just think it's super cool. Also, if you would like to follow me on any of my social media, my Twitter, Instagram and Snapchat are all Roxoras. Same way it's spelled here. But that is all for this video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning, evening, night, whatever. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!